Thank you. So um, welcome, welcome to the first street scene. Uh, you were just played in by a brand new member of our Artivism Virginia group, Angelisha Rogers, who is coming to us from the Bronx, in New York City, where she is sheltering in place. Um, and she works with Lincoln Center Jazz. With, but born and raised in Virginia, so you can take the girl out of the country. But take yeah. the country out the girl. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, so while we're waiting for folks to gather, I just want to welcome everyone who's here and ask you to sign into the chat. If you go to the bottom of your Zoom screen and click chat, you can um, write things to us. We have everyone who's not teaching tonight on mute because when people talk and try to play together, it, the sound is not a happy one. So, but if you would sign in with your name and your pronouns and where you are, and, and the answer to one question, which this week is, if the shelter in place place where you are was an island, what would the name of that island be? So um, where you are is at the very first street scene workshop. It's the first of six. And what happened was that we were, a lot of us were busy uh, protecting the environment, going, running meetings all over the state and rallies and hearings and all of a sudden, bah, frozen in place. So what we said was, okay, how do we make the best of this situation? What we decided was we would offer two things. We would offer these workshops with the idea that we would learn some skills and make some agreements and develop some material for the next time we were together on the street or at the rally or the hearing or the action. We would, when we came out of this pressure cooker, we would come out strong and beautiful. So that's the idea. And tonight's workshop is about chant and song. 
And so we're going to teach you um, some of that. We have some great teachers for you. Um, you can follow all of this at Artivism Virginia on Facebook, Vimeo, um, Instagram, and see what we're up to. On one Thursday night, we have the street sings, and on the alternate Thursday nights, we have the sun sing in place concerts. We had our first one last week. That uh, the link where you can see that if you missed it is up on all the Artivism places, and. Um, I hope you'll join us next Thursday. We're really excited about the Earth Week one that we have next Thursday at 7. So uh, while you're here with us tonight, you are muted because the when everyone speaks at once, it's hard. But later in the middle of our program, we'll have some breakout groups and you'll be able to talk and practice your chants together in small groups. While we're having the chants taught, I encourage you to screenshot the text of the chants because when you go into your small groups to practice, you won't be able to see the text that's on the green share. So just screenshot that and take it into your small groups. And now I want to hand over the chant teaching to our three wonderful Sunsyn Collective members who are teaching us tonight, Gabe Gavin, Camry Harris, and BJ Bernadette Lark, also known as BJ. Take it away. All right, all right. Thank you, Kay, for such a wonderful intro. And um, Angel, well, of course, I'll refer to Angelicia as Angel um, for such a beautiful opening uh, musical. So tonight we have three chants prepared to teach you all. So you might as well go ahead and get your rattles, your shakers, your pots, your pans with your spoon and join us because we're going to have a good time tonight. Now, um, with me and Chance tonight, we'll I will have two drummers, uh, Camry Harris and Gabe Gavin. And um, I just want to remind you all that we chant with a purpose, a moment of togetherness, such as where we are here tonight. And as we go through our chants, I will be continuing to remind you of the importance of participating tonight. Even though we're sheltering in place, I am here in Roanoke, Virginia, in my home where I'm sheltering in place with my family. And I've already gave them a warning, do not walk past me for the next hour because I will be in workshop. But they can grab their pots and pans and spoons and drums and come dance with us and just have fun. Um, and I so value this time with us. I'm going to pass it over to Camry. Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. My name is Camry Harris. I am the drummer for the Sunseen Collective. And uh, today I'm going to start you off with some drumming and some um, some techniques that will help you get a little bit of the sound that you're going for while you're, um, you're drumming with us. Okay, so um, as we all know, drumming is a language. And uh, for, you know, not many, not many people actually know that, but I'm going to be teaching you some of the drum lingo first. So as you go through this chant and you know i'm going to be showing you some drums gabe's going to be showing you some drums and you might hear the term boom or cow or pop okay so with that being said let me angle my camera a little bit down on the drums so i can show you what's going on Okay, so boom. When you hear boom, boom is your hand flat on the center of your drum. Now you're not gonna hear the deep resonating note from my drum right now because this is a converted snare drum that I that you know that was the only thing that I had at my home at the moment. But um if you have a, a djembe or any type of hand percussion, you won't want to hold your hand like this, flat like this against your drum and hit it dead center. And you're gonna get up really nice deep tone and that's going to be your boom so even if you say boom just take a minute to say boom say boom you should feel it deep in your chest it's going to be a like i said a low resonate note so when you hear boom that's pertaining to hitting the center of your drum hand just like this you're going to get a really deep note next your cows or your pops you're going to want to focus on this area of your hand right here and that's going to be towards the edge of your drum so that's where you're going to hear your cows and your pops. 
And don't be afraid to just, you know, really hit it. Like drums are something that I, I take my aggression out of. So don't be afraid to, you know, I know you guys are, are really feeling it when you're, when you're doing your mar marches and when you're doing your chants and we're out here really, you know, doing that activism work. Sometimes you got to just let it all out. And that's why I love drumming personally. So the rhythm that I'm going to show you all today is a old African rhythm that I learned when I was younger. And it goes a little something like this. Boom, cow, 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 cow. I hope you guys enjoyed that little bit of a lesson. We're definitely going to revisit it a little bit later on. So just keep all of that in mind. And um, I look forward to revisiting this with you guys soon. All right, BJ. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Camry, for that wonderful um, drum intro. And here, if you all were following along, I hope you know your boom cat. So we're going to definitely look forward to get into that. All right, so next up we have Gabe will be joining me for drum rhythm on our chant entitled Clean Air. All right, Gabe. All right, thanks, PJ. Thanks, Camry. Nice to see everybody. Uh, I'm Gabe, I'm the bass player and sometimes percussionist for the Sunsing Collective. And I'm here in Ivy, just outside of Charlottesville. And I'm going to share the first rhythm for the first chant called Clean Air. And there's two parts to the rhythm. The first part is um, going to be bass, bass, tone, 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 tone. So bass is what Camry was saying, boom, it's the flat hand in the center of the drum. And the tones are the fingers on the edge of the drum. And it sounds like this. And so we'll do that for the first three lines of the chant. And then every fourth line, which is about clean air, we'll play bass, 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 tone, tone, tone. So three times of the first one, one time of the second one. And all together, it sounds like this. simple. Have fun. Back to you, BJ. All right. Thank you, Gabe. So I am going to take this time to teach the chant Clean Air, and you should see it there on your screen. Um, and go ahead and screenshot um, those words for the chant, because when you break off into small groups, you might want to refer to them in conversation. And also, just to have them after tonight so that you can refer to them for future as needed. All right, let's jump right in on clean air. Now this chant is a simple chant, but very powerful, and the effects of this chant will go deep. The uh, words there just say, I care, you care, we care about clean air. Again, I care, you care, we care, about clean air. Now, right now, before I add the drum rhythm, which Gabe gave us, I would like us to collectively, let's grow, go through this chant. This is a chant that we all do in oneness and unity. Ready? I care, you care, we care about clean air. I'll do it again. I care, you care, we care about clean air and we know clean air is so important so i'm going to add the drum rhythm once i add the drum rhythm i'm going to go through the chant about two or three times but i am expecting you to join me on that second and third round as we go through it repetitively 
and have fun when we do this. So go ahead and grab your shakers, your pots, your pan, march in place, whatever you got to do, because we know we care about the quality of the air we breathe. All right, I'm going to add the drum rhythm. Y'all ready? Come on. Here we go, here we go. I care, you care, we care about clean air. Come on, I care, you care, we care about clean air. I care, you care, we care about clean air. Keep it going, come on. I care, you care, we care about clean air. Let me hear that rhythm. That's right. That's right. Yes. I'll join you. I care. You care. We care about clean air. One more time. I care. That's it. You care. We care about clean air. A really simple one to get us started. And like I said, it's simple, but so powerful as we don't take for granted breathing in clean quality air, which is essential to our being. So that is a chant that everyone on this planet can just call out and mean it from the depths of our soul. All right, we're gonna move on to chant number two. And tonight we prepared our future. And I will have Camry join me on this chant. Now, before um, I pass it to Camry, I'm going to go ahead and have you all take a look at the screen here for our lyrics. And I just want to give everybody time to focus in on that. And like I said, go ahead and take your time and screenshot the uh, words for the chance as you need them. And I'm gonna pass it over to Camry. Hello, 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 everybody. Hope everybody's still doing well. They realize that I'll be back so soon, did you? I'm here. But, um, so I'm, we're taking a visit back to the rhythm that I showed you the first time, which was the um, old rap African rhythm that I learned when I was younger. And get it back on the drum again. Okay, so remember, boom, cow, 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 boom, 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 cow, 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 boom, cow, 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 and there we go. Hopefully, that was a little bit of help. Hopefully, you guys are able to catch on to it and remember it. Because it's uh, not fairly too hard a rhythm, but I know starting off, it could be a little bit difficult. But if you guys remember that rhythm and just work on it when you get a chance, you know, while we're all in quarantine, just have a little fun with it, too. Don't be afraid to add your special touches in, like, you know, add whatever flavor you wanted to it. That's the beautiful part about chant drumming is when you all come together, you can do whatever you're feeling at that moment. And like I said, that's the beautiful thing about drumming to me is you're able to just add in and do whatever you feel like in the moment to, to, to get your heart cleared off. You know, that's, that's how I feel. Um, but thank y'all again for being with us. We really appreciate your time. We thank y'all for spending, you know, this whole hour with us. Um, back to you, BJ. All right. Thank you so much, Camry, for sharing that rhythm that we will be using as we take on the chant entitled Our Future. Now, chants have both physical and mental effects on us. And I want you to know I've found it to calm our minds, it strengthens our soul, and it gives us a hope for our future because the words that we are saying actually are positive healing, sending good vibes out there to you all. All right, if you take a look at the chant, says our future can be found when we keep it in the ground. Our planet can be healed when we have a Green New Deal. Now this chant, if you notice, has a call and response. The letters, uh, the words that are bold or 
the words that I will speak in the call, and the italicized will be the words that you speak out to me in the response. And so what it'll sound like is, our future can be found when we keep it in the ground. Our planet can be healed when we have a green new deal. So that was just a great example. Now, I wanna give you all a quick second while I load this drum rhythm that Camry has given for us to play this chant. Go ahead and grab your shakers, your rattles, your pots, your pan, your drums, and get ready to have a good time with us. Y'all ready? All right, let's go. You hear the beat? Can you hear the beat? Our future can be found when we keep it in the ground. Our planet can be healed when we have a green new deal. Our future can be found when we keep it in the ground. Our planet can be healed when we have a green new deal. Our future can be found when we keep it in the ground. Our planet can be healed when we have a green new deal. Our future can be found. That's right. Our planet can be healed. Yes, our future can be found. Let me hear you. Our planet can be healed. Come on, our future can be found. Our planet can be healed. All together, our future can be found when we keep it in the ground. Our planet can be healed when we have a green new deal. All right, all right, how did that feel? How did it feel? I see some of you all out there with your sticks, spoons, I'm watching you. And you all are having such a wonderful time, which is what we desire. All right, I'm gonna have Gabe to join me for our final chat entitled Clean It Up. All right, back to you, Gabe. All right, thanks, PJ. So this is a longer one, so um, there's two parts to this one, and we broke it up into what we're calling verse and chorus. So the chorus is the water is life, and the verse is uh, all the lines that BJ says and the response is clean it up, clean it up. So for the verse, uh, we're going to play four bass tones, or no, sorry, four basses, and then tones that correspond with the clean it up, clean it up. So that'll sound like this. So we do that eight times, and then we come to the chorus. And for the chorus, we'll just have bass notes that correspond with the beginning of each word. So that's the water is life. And that will sound like this. Water is life. Water is life. Water is life. And then back to the verse. All right, back to you, BJ. All right. Thank you, Gabe. Thank you so very much. I just want to remind you all that chanting can be both personal and group practice as we demonstrate today. So I hope you all are practicing with us. And I have my special percussion with me, a beautiful, beautiful gift from a friend. And I am tapping along with Gabe and Camry and you all out there. And we're gonna jump right in to clean it up. Now I'm gonna teach this chant. Um, as you look there on your screens, you will see clean it up, clean it up. And I wanna talk about the call and response and that course rhythm that Gabe was uh, pointing out. So as we learn in the previous uh, chant, call, or uh, my lines that are in bold writing, the response, or the italicized lines that are in 
um, the italicized writing for you. And there's a special course in this. So when that rhythm changes in the course, you'll hear me call out, water is life, and you respond, water is life. And uh, just follow the words there on your screen as you see them, and we will end in unity. When I ask, so what we're gonna do? Clean it up, clean it up. So we want to go ahead and give you all a second to adjust. Grab that percussion instrument. Don't be afraid and get ready to have fun. I'm gonna add uh, the drum beat and we're going to have a good time on Clean It Up. Y'all ready? All right. Yes, yes. What we gonna do? Clean it up, clean it up. What about corruption? Clean it up. Clean it up. What about our water? Clean it up. Clean it up. What about our air? Clean it up. Clean it up. What we gonna do? Clean it up. Clean it up. What about coal ash? Clean it up. Clean it up. What about our future? Clean it up. Clean it up. What about injustice? Clean it up. Clean it up. Come on. Water is life. Let me hear you. Water is life. Let me hear you. Water is life. Come on. Water is life. So what we gonna do? Clean it up. Clean it up. How did that feel? How did it feel? Now you will notice in the caller line, I did skip one of the what you gonna do and that's because the beat started and I was sitting there jamming to the beat that gave set and didn't say a word. But I hope you all were able to catch up with me and I hope you all really enjoyed that chant. So as we continue, please continue to use these chants as it can provide a subtle but strong undercurrent of joy and tranquility as we steady the course towards justice. I love you all. All right, I'm gonna pass it back to Kay. All right, so now I'm gonna invite you to join uh, small groups and you can practice your chants that you just learned. So it's a pop quiz kind of. So here it comes, let's see. Oh, where is my breakout room? Where's my breakout room thing? I didn't see it, who knew? Uh, not in here suddenly. Hmm. More. There they are. Okay. So let's see. There's 25 of us. We're going to have. Okay. So you'll get an invitation and then you'll get an invitation to come back into big group. Have fun.
Maya, can you be heard now? <laughs> yeah, I I had trouble. Um, you got to go back to your breakout room because you're you're right because they couldn't hear me. I was on like driving mode on my phone because anyway, I had trouble signing in, and then I lost my passcode for my email, and so I've been trying since seven oh, to join. So but I anyway, put you. And back in your breakout room. Thank you. Oh, okay, here we go. Assign to. There you go. Perfect. Thank you, Kay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Hi, Miss Polly. Oh, oh hi. Uh, Natalie and I couldn't hear each other in the other room. All right. Are, have you unmuted yourselves? I have. I think it must be on Natalie's end now. All right. I know uh, we were sign languaging before. Let's see if I can. Let's see if I can help you. That's fine. Hey Susan. Um. Yeah. And I'm uh, looking for Natalie. Uh, Breakout room two. So are you in there by yourself? You can see her, but you can't. We were there together in room two alone, but she couldn't hear me. So we were writing notes and all right. I'm going to do a breakout room. There you are. Oh, can you hear us now? Yes, I'm so sorry. Yay. Yeah, it was my user error. <laughs> All right. Hi. <laughs> All right. Maya. Hey, there is no one in my. Uh, Susan. And there's a, a mute button at the bottom of your screen, Susan. Okay. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's just that she had us all, she had, it was, yeah, she had it, some of us um, muted. Um, yeah, so Maya, I'm glad to hear you now. We were having the same problem. Oh, okay. Be yeah, nice. Yeah. Glad we're on track. <laughs> One thing that I noticed, I know we were just practicing and, and having fun, but I've done this a lot, and 
I think you have to go super slow when you have a lot of people um, and you're trying to gather people and you're, they're all trying to get their words out and be heard. So in my experience, the beat has to be pretty slow and um, deliberate, not too fast, but I know we were just having fun, but that's one thing I noticed. <laughs> Do you have that experience at all, Pat, Polly? I'm kind of joking. I haven't tried it yet. I've, ta I've heard people talk about it. We have a chant night on Tuesday, but they just play a recording and we all mute ourselves and sing along. So. Okay. Uh, I think it comes from my cheerleader days and also from doing things with, you know, hundreds of thousands of people. And, and if you go too fast, first of all, if you're walking, you lose your breath. So you really, really, really need to have time to, to breathe through the chance. Yeah, Polly, we have a uh, Zoom church meetings now, and that's exactly what we do. Okay. We'll have the words, and then we're muted, and then the musicians play, and then we sing along, you know, to ourselves. Wow. <laughs> mm, nice. All right, so you want to practice one of them? <laughs> right. <laughs> Holly, you got your drum there. Why don't you pick one and, and lead us in it? Oh, shoot. I didn't copy the words. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> I can copy the beat if somebody else got the words going. I can join in. Let's see. I'm going to have to slow it down, though. Maybe we should just start with the words first. Susan, can you start us? Oh, I, I don't, I, I, I didn't write them down either because I was doing, I was um, in a place that I couldn't. But um, uh, we want clean air, I want clean air. Let's see, you want clean air, I want clean air. We want clean other. air. No, what was it? Help us out, Kay. Oh, um, <laughs> uh, yes, I will. Clean, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, um, you want clean air, we want clean air. I care, you care, we care about okay. clean air. Yeah, I care, you yeah. care, we care uh, for clean air. Is that okay. it? Clean, clean air. Mm -hmm. yeah. You care. Oh, we're all together. We now. care Thank you. for clean air. <laughs> I care. You care. You care. <laughs> We care for clean air. So I think about the hundreds of people that are around you and trying to get with the beat. And that slow beat is pretty, it's in my experience, is pretty important. Um, uh -oh. Especially when it, we get com complicated. All right. Uh, we're, gonna, we're back in big group now. And okay. I'm going to mute uh, the... Um, the participants, the co-hosts probably have to unmute themselves again. And now we're going to go to a little, a, a two street songs. And the first one is going to be taught to us by Joshua Vanna. And he's going to teach us a version that we can sing on the street together of We Shall Not Be Moved. Hey, y'all. Can you hear me out there? Thanks, Kay. I see some thumbs up out there. I see a lot of, a lot of pals, too. Um, thanks so much for joining us and I'm, I hope that everyone out there is safe and healthy and managing okay in these kind of stressful times. Um, I know everybody's kind of trying to figure out how to pivot and we are too and it's, it's fun to be doing it together here. So um, this is just such a wonderful assembly here and I'm, I'm, glad, I'm glad to see y'all. Um, I'm going to get right to it here. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen of a little, just some words of a song. Okay, can everybody see that? All right. I'm trying to format it here just so it's, it's clear for everyone. Um, yeah, so those those chants were wonderful and thanks Camry and Gabe and BJ and leading us all and uh, 
our friend Angelisha who played us in, uh, wonderful as well. I'd like to, this, this song um, I've been sort of showing up with for a few years now uh, in our, as, as we gather to fight the Mountain Valley and Atlantic Coast Pipelines in Virginia, West Virginia, and North Carolina. And it's a song that has been around for a long, long time and has come a long, long way. Showed up in a lot of places and taken on uh, a new life in each of those places. And that's, of course, the great thing about folk music. It just keeps staying relevant. Um, the song, We Shall Not Be Moved, sort of started out we believe as uh, more widely known as I Shall Not Be Moved and has roots as an African-American spiritual and uh, came to prominence in the labor movement in the 30s and then, and then much more prominence in the civil rights movement in the, the late 50s, the 60s. And um, I learned it most intimately from a Mavis Staples recording uh, from about 15 years ago off a record called We'll Never Turn Back. Um, I think we might put a link to where to learn about that record um, in the chat. But um, I, you know, I, I play it on guitar and sing it, and I would love you all to sing it with me. Of course, uh, I wish I could hear everybody, but technical limitations will, will sort of preside over our collective uh, song here. But um, yeah. I, along the way, have kind of added a few verses of my own just in, you know, to make the song more relevant to the particular issues that I've been showing up on. And uh, it's a great song for that, really. Each verse, just really only one line changes pretty much in, in, the, in the repetition of verses. So it lends itself really well to kind of making it your own, whatever uh, cause you're showing up for, just as long as it works with the cadence and rhythm, you might have a brand new verse. So the, um, I'm gonna, I'm, I've got a guitar with me, I hope you all can hear that okay, and I play it in G. If anybody else has a melodic instrument out there, uh, feel free to play along, but um, the, the verse, first verse, if you want to sing along with me, and you have the words, is just a... We shall not, we shall not be moved. We shall not, we shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the water. We shall not be moved that's pretty much the gist of it i you know other folks sing it faster slower uh, i like it with a little bit of groove to it so if you've got your percussion instruments and you want to go we shall not we shall not be moved that works too um so yeah i i think we should just sing this all together uh i've got the lyrics up the, the last verse there down toward the bottom, I like singing, we're fighting for our history. And then the second line changes, instead of replicating that, it goes, we're writing our own history. Um, I often think about the little community of Union Hill in Buckingham County when I sing that. So let's do it together. Play along, sing along, add a harmony on your own if you want. And here we go. I'm going to start from the second verse. When our burden's heavy, we shall not be moved. When our burden's heavy, we shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the wall. Order, we shall not be moved. We're fighting for our mountains, we shall not be moved. Fighting for our mountains, we shall not be moved. Just like a tree that's planted by the wall. Order, we shall not be moved. We're standing for our rivers. We're standing 
for our rivers we shall not be moved standing for our rivers we shall not be moved. just like the tree that's planted by the wall order we shall not be moved young and old together young and old together we shall not be moved young and old together we shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the wall order we shall not be moved fighting for history fighting for our history shall not be moved. We're writing our own history. We shall not be just like a tree that's planted by the wall. Order. We shall not be moved. All right, all together last time. We shall not, we shall not be shall not, we shall not be moved just like a tree that's planted by the wall. Order, we shall not be moved. Looking good, y'all. Looking good. Thank you, Josh. And we got time. We're running a little bit late. I hope you guys can stay with this. Just maybe five more minutes past eight. And we've got one more song that BJ's going to teach us, which has um, been made dear to all our hearts by the Poor People's Campaign. And it's called Somebody's Hurting My Brother. Take it, BJ. All right. Thank you, Josh, for that amazing, uplifting, inspiring music. Um, as Kay just said, um, Somebody's Hurting My Brother was um, a song shared by Yar Allen. And I want to go ahead and jump right into teaching it. If you look there, you have the lyrics on your screen. And as I've been encouraging you all tonight, um, please screenshot because after this uh, workshop tonight, I want you all to continue to dive into this material, share it, and um, enjoy. All right, so here you have your, um, this will be more of a call and response, more of a lead and course. The bold letters or the bold words or my lines that you will hear me sing out. And I want to hear you respond back to me with your lines. So let's run through this. Um, somebody's hurting my brother and it's gone on and you are safe far too long. And I'll respond and it's gone on, and you say, far too long. Yes, it's gone on. You say, far too long. Somebody's hurting my brother, and it's gone on far too long. And all together, we'll say, and we won't be silent anymore. All right, I'm going to sing it one time through. Now, when I am done singing the um, call and response, which is the lead and chorus, I am going to pass it over to my wonderful friend, um, Angel, which is Angelicia, and she's going to um, share this song with us on uh, trumpet, and we look forward to that very special treat. All right, so the song will go like this. All right. Somebody's hurting my brother, and it's gone on for too long. And it's gone on for too long. Yes, it's gone on for too long. Somebody's hurting my brother. And it's gone on for too long. And we won't be silent anymore. I'm going to pass it to Angelicia because I believe this song is um, in the key of C. And so, Angelicia, you can take it from here. Thank you for being with us tonight. Um. 
Yes, let's keep that rhythm going. Thank you. Somebody's hurting my brother and it's gone on for too long. Said it's gone on for too long. Yes, it's gone on for too long. Somebody's hurting my brother and it's going on for too long and we won't be silent anymore come on y'all somebody's poison the water and it's going on for too long and it's going on for too long Yes, it's gone on for too long. Somebody's poisoned the water, and it's gone on for too long. And we won't be silent anymore. Last verse, come on. Somebody's hurting my sister, and it's gone on for too long and it's gone on for too long yes it's gone on for too long somebody's heard of my sister and it's gone on for too long and we won't be silent anymore oh no we won't be silent anymore oh i enjoyed that thank you all love you all thank you bj thank you angelisha um so message us on facebook if you have or add to the discussion under the street sing workshops if you have new ideas for chants and songs that are good for the street um, join us two weeks from tonight at seven again we'll be working on techniques for making posters for the street and small banners and maybe do one more song and um bring one new person bring one new person to the workshop if you enjoyed it tonight um, do not miss the Sun Sing and Plays concert next Thursday night at 7. So it's one week it's Street Sing Workshop, the next week it's Concert in Place. We have resistance music, guest speakers, calls to action, poetry. And we're very excited about next week. We have um, Lee Naomi Green, uh, a very accomplished and uh, awarded poet from Rockbridge County joining us. Jessica Sims from Virginia Pipeline Resistors and Sierra Club Virginia Chapter is going to talk to us about divestment. We have Russell Chislom joining us from Mountain Valley Watch and Power Coalition. And we have a guest artist, musician, Emily Roby Morrison of the Front Porch. So and then more, even more wonderful music from the Sunsing Collective. You can see the first one on our Facebook page, Vimneo, or YouTube channel, and share that with people. And 
you know, shout and cheer if you're having a good time with all this. You can email us at artivismvirginia at gmail.com if you want to receive one email a week with the seven protections newsletter, seven ways to stop fright gas in Virginia this week. And I'm gonna let, um, I'm gonna say good night and thank you for being here. And I'm gonna let um, Angelisa play us out. Please join us again, yay us. We're gonna come out of this pressure cooker. We're gonna be bright, we're gonna be beautiful, we're gonna be strong. Yes, indeed. Um, you know, as, as everybody mentioned earlier, I am a Virginia native, so I thought it only fitting to end the song with Shenandoah. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. See you next week. Good night. Good night. Stay safe. Stay well. We love you.